This is your family home that we're standing in front of here. Uh, that my parents who were survivors bought in 1967. Okay. So it's been in our family a rather long time. Right. My parents passed away, my father first in 89 and my mother in 205. She actually spent her last years here with Alzheimer's and a Polish caretaker. The house was empty in the winters for 10 years because I frankly uh, was wary about who I could rent it to during the winter. I didn't know who would want to live in Hampton Bays in the winter. And then I learned that there are real estate agents who do deal, deal with winter rentals and I rented it to this woman, Julie Reinke, who presented herself as an interior decorator. She had two daughters who were in college, one a freshman and one a sophomore. Um, just reading now the defense that I heard now, she said she had permission to change beds and move furniture around, which is absolutely not true. She had no permission to bring in a dog or a cat, which I understand now. She is declaring she had permission. Um, after COVID, after the first, she had a, a she had a first lease from September till June 18th, and that summer I could not return. There were no planes, there was no ability, nobody was traveling. Um, and so two weeks after her lease ran out, I renewed it for the next, well, from July 1st till June 18th. And in January, I already told her that I was returning to the United States to spend my summer. She kept trying to persuade me that I would be endangering myself to COVID and uh, find all kinds of excuses not to say that she was leaving. But there were times, and in the email, she would say, where did I get the idea that she wasn't leaving? And in fact, she begged me to sign a lease so she could return after the summer. But as you see, she never left for the summer. She signed a pandemic hardship application saying she does not have the funds to find another house. That is of no interest to me at this point. This is my house. I returned, flew in 6,000 miles, and I want to spend my summer here. In addition, I was astounded at the condition that I found the house in. And she said, well, if Genya wants to pay me some of my rent, I'll consider it and I'll be out of here as soon as possible. So she wants to blackmail me after she's destroyed my belongings and turned my life upside down. She never imagined I would come back from Israel. She had the audacity to think that I wouldn't get on a plane and come back here. Why, I don't know. When I told her in April even, I tried to sign in April an agreement with her. I said, I will waive your May and June rent if you sign this and promise me you will be out. Of course she didn't sign it, and by that time I hired a lawyer. It was already uh, clear to me that this woman was doing whatever she could to stay in my place.